evening, soon to be morning. I got to Dublin Airport now. It's uh, just at 10 o'clock. My flight's not until 5.55 and they, they don't open up the departures till 2.30 in the morning, so it's all closed up. So basically I'm hostage here in the morning. Uh, reason being is this the bus schedules, you know, uh, this was the last one until the one in the early mornings, which would leave me a little bit uh, too tight to get onto the plane for tomorrow morning. So I'm just going to try to relax for the uh, next several hours and then we'll see what it's like to get to Sofia in the morning. I may try to find something to eat. Well, that was very easy. I was, I was literally the first one through into the uh, security, so that's all done. Now we just look at the flights. I think ours is at Sophia Gate 108. That's what 1685 gets you in Dublin Airport. So we've got a BLT sandwich, a latte, and a salt and vinegar crisps, and a Coke Zero. Nothing really open yet. So I'll just have something to eat now. Buses here. Does have anyone? Okay, well, it's a little colder than uh, than Wexford. It's not too too bad. So now we're gonna see how it is to get into Sofia from the airport. And while we're there, just if you're uh, want to thank everyone who has uh, supported me. I hit monetization on the 20th of January, so thank you very much. Now, if you want to be a member, see who's going to be the first member of my channel, or if you want to uh, support my channel, hit the uh, super thanks. It'll be the first one. So far, I haven't got any yet. So see who's the first one to give me a super thanks, or to be a member of the channel. Just check up below in the uh, descriptions. It wasn't too bad. And all in all, maybe five, ten minutes, even though it was the last bus to get off. So we had, was very back in the queue, but because of the uh, passports and the scan, it's automated. 
so it's easy enough. Now I just have to find my way to uh, getting out of here and getting uh, a lift into the city center. So we'll see how that goes. So now we're just getting there. I'm going to start this again. Um, I want to thank everyone for uh, subscribing, subscribing to my channel. Those of you who haven't, just hit the uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell button. Um, I'm in Bulgaria, so we'll get to see what uh, Bulgaria is saying over the next few days. I'm here for four nights. Um, I want to see who was going to be the first one to uh, hit the, uh, the channel membership or the uh, super thanks. I was monetized on the 20th of January, so thanks everyone that supported me. I'm over uh, almost uh, 1,200 subscribers right now. And uh, we have a lot of adventures planned. So now I'm just gonna look around and see how do I get to the city center from here. Terminal two, which is not far, but I see there is a big M metro station. So I think I can get the metro. I looked on my app on the phone and there is a metro that it can take. I wonder if this is it. Let's take a look and we'll see. Let me get a little closer and see if I can ask somebody. Okay, so I just uh, found the tickets. I, it cost me 100 and 160. So that's about 80 cents. Look at the subways. They're an old style. But the place is clean. See which one it is. And you went to Baku, Baku in Azerbaijan, or where you go? Yeah, Baku. Yeah, I've never. I, I didn't realize that it was actually. A, it's actually a F1 circuit, so it's actually they're really, really reasonable. I'm gonna bring my uh, partner with me uh, for is it eight nights in a eight nights in a four star hotel with breakfast. It's 230 euros. Choke me. No. So here's the. Uh, See what I don't know where we are or where we're going. But we got there. It's like an old style metro. Not too busy. Just met your man from Cork. What's your name? Ruben. Ruben. Nick. Hey. He's from Cork. He's gonna experience the city as well. So Oh, well, looking forward to this. And we'll see where the stop uh, takes us to get into the city center, and then we'll explore around there. Yeah, they're getting up too. So here we go. Are you seeing this for eighty cents? Now which way? There's two ways. This way, no? What do you want? Left or right? Doesn't matter, I guess. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. So it was like 80 cents. Oh, here's a little shop here. Pastries. Pizzas. So 300, that's about 150 roughly. It's about half price. The size of slices. Like, they're not just small, if they're going to chunk you. Easy ones. I'm going to go to shop there with all sorts of goodies. Oh, you get it, you order it at the uh, window. Wonder how much a Jameson is here. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, here's some more. Look at this. Wow. See, look at. The, I think those are the ones there that have the cheese and yogurt and. So these are the pastry. Bunker. Yeah. And the ones underneath too. I think they're, they've come in different variations of that, but yeah. Wow. Look at those things there too. So that's, I feel that's, like I don't want to get one of each. Of that's them. two euros basically. That's a fairly. So what is that? That looks like pepperoni or like a giant piece of salami. Oh, like here, this so those ones. the cheese the in cheese it. Ones. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then those look like interesting type of like croissants. croissants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but they look croissants. buttery or something. Or wow. not gonna lie, they look very appetizing right now. Anyway, we pretty yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting though. Twenty-five years of Via Metro. Oh yeah, I guess we. Oh, yeah. Here's the exit here. Oh, just walk out, I guess. So you don't need a, a ticket to walk out. This is open. The man's playing the music there. Oh, look at these uh, yokes for wheelchairs. Although, geez, you'd have to have... Wheelchairs and bikes. Bikes? Yeah. Looks like wheelchairs. Yeah. Unless you'd a quad bike, you know, just... <laughs> All right, so this is the first site of New Bulgaria. Oh, a skating rink. They have a skating rink over there. There's a statue in the background. Oh, wow. Should have brought my skates. <laughs> For those that watched my uh, my uh, Wexford on Ice vlog, I'll put the link up above. It's a little bit different. This is actually natural ice. Whoa. And there's the Nevsky. Uh, Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. We'll be doing that another time in the vlog. Oh, is that a Turkish flag? Yeah, yeah. must be a Turkish embassy. It has a lot of influences from Turkey too. Turkey and Greece actually. I it's another Russian time. I was the cathedral is. Yeah. Russian. Well, no, it's it's uh, it's Christian, but it's Orthodox like Christian. Like. Yeah. Yeah. There's some buses, we even have some trams there too. And there's a kitty skating around. Snow. There's not that much of it, but I wonder if this is all from the ice rink. There. A little bit of snow. <laughs> Yeah, it's not too bad. Into the underpass here because there's no crossing walks on the streets. Like, they don't have any zebra lines. So you have to go underneath and to go through the, uh, the streets. Through traffic. And there's a huge building there. We'll be taking all, we're exploring all this in the next coming days. So make sure you stay tuned. Eh? Today we're just gonna basically journey the trip over to Sofia and get set up in the hostel and then we'll come up with a plan of action for the next few days. So that's what today's vlog is gonna be mostly just getting our feet wet in Sofia. And look at the old buildings. The architecture is quite amazing. I wonder if they take a lot of cash or cards. I'll have to see about that. Maybe top up the old ATM. Now supposedly the hostel has an ATM in the hostel. So 
At least that's what it said in Booker.com. So. There's a big... Yeah, let's go see that. Yeah, look at that, eh? Uh, King of Liberator and that the Bulgarians are all grateful. That's basically the translation for it. At least that's what Google says. Very interesting. It's massive. The, the streets as well are, they're quite narrow. Like they, they, they look beautiful and straight ahead. Yeah. Let's see another church. Look at the big, big head of Lenin, I think. I don't know. I wonder who that is. Let's get the old Google Translate out. It didn't tell me who it was, just told me all the people that have been behind it to make it. So if you know who it is, just please put it in the comments. So help me educate. It looks like Lenin, but I don't know. I thought they moved all the Lenins and the Soviets. Uh, statues and that to one park where you can go see them. We'll see. Let's we'll make our way down. We have about a 20 minute walk ahead of us to the we get to the uh, the hostel. Towards the hostel and that we're coming to another park. It's a huge building right there. We'll explore in that during the week. I'd imagine in the summertime this is all lit up and that and I think they have fountains there. The fountains are over there with water in it but no need for that in the winter time. It's a big park as it is anyways. Yeah, big old buildings. Some pigeons. Oh yeah. Looking up, probably at the pigeons. <laughs> Their faces all covered in it. I didn't say what it's from. Some religious figure. Bulgaria. There's another one there. Cool. Oh wow, the mountains on the other side are awesome. I think this is the main street that you can walk across, go up and down. That's like a tour in its own. It's not like it's pedestrianized and wow. see? I'll be hitting that up again, but not right now. That's a vlog in itself. And we'll go around with all the shops and get a bunch of tasty stuff to eat. Close to it. There's the modern tram. That one's only about 50 years old. We still have the little green man. So it goes long enough to get across, so that's fair enough. Now, according to this, this is it right here, which is a windmill. No. There it is, right there. Hostel M. There we go. Now we'll see what this is like. Doesn't look like it's open. <laughs> oh, dear guests, the reception is open from 9 to 12. You need assistance. Okay, let's give it a shot. Is it this one? So you go through that little gray door. Oh, 
Oh wow. This is cool. I remember seeing these photos. Wow. Different. Wow. Hello there. Hello. We found it. Well, yeah, congratulations. I only nice words. There we go. Cool. Cool table. Reservation for uh, Michael Phelan or Mick? That doesn't really sound like Bulgarian. No. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a mixture of Irish and uh, Canadian. Okay. Yeah. That first one, the Dobar Den, I recognize as Bulgarian. Well, I have about a cue card with about 30 words, so. I speak French, I speak Spanish. No, well, let's do English. Little Nepo Neuro Nepalese. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys been here before? Nope, first time. We just need passports to register yep. you. Is it mutual booking or? No. We just, spotted. we just spotted in the, 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 door? the train. No, in the oh. train. The tram or the metro actually. I actually stopped them. No, no, no. That's it, yeah. Train from where? From the uh, airport. From the airport. Oh, okay. It was handy. It was only 80 cents or, well, 160. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah love. Yeah. So. so you were also on the same flight maybe? Common area. That is really nice. Okay. So here's Bulgaria. And there's Azerbaijan. So we go in there. Oops. Nice little setup. So that's the common area we're just in. And these are the rooms up above, I believe. They're still getting it ready, so. We'll be uh, going to get some money in the hole in the wall. And just because I think mostly they use cash around here, so the cards will probably be there. So I have like about 90 some odd left, so I'll probably just take out some money because I'll be spending money eating here. That's for sure. Quick room tour. So, just outside here. Okay. Here's where you come in. It's a small kitchen. You got a toilet. And another toilet. Wonder where the shower is. And then here's the room. And then there's the bed. Very basic. But there's a locker there too, so I'm just gonna get ready and chill it. I'm just leaving outside, so it's on the main street, so it's not actually in the compound where I showed you the uh, the other place where they had the wooden sh stairs. So this is off the main. So there's the HM hostel, and it's right in here. So you just put in one code to go upstairs. It's the first floor.